Can you imagine a system where they actually adhere to their own standards? Can you imagine a system which prevents not just people and the citizens, but also the cops and the judges and the lawyers from murdering or raping or stealing or attacking others? Could you imagine a system which actually respects the rule of law? Everybody has to follow the law. Nobody can rob or rape. Nobody can hit or kill. Nobody can abuse. Nobody can bear false witness. Nobody can torture. Nobody can arson. Nobody can kidnap. Nobody can enslave. Could you imagine a society where we all agree that nobody, nobody, not the citizen, not the judges or the lawyers or the cops, Thou shalt not hit, thou shalt not rob, thou shalt not rape, thou shalt not kill. Can we agree those rules are good rules and just four, those are just four rules can we agree on? Can you imagine a system that actually respects all the working class families and farmers of the San Luis Valley? Can you imagine where there's not an untouchable class of folks? There's not a second class third class citizen but we're all on the same could you imagine a system that has virtues that actually believes in goodness and righteousness freedom natural law reason logic science technology could you imagine a system that respects our natural rights not just uphold criminal law Stop criminals from committing crimes, but also uphold our rights. Our natural rights, not just our constitutional rights, but our natural rights. Our right to oxygen, our right to self-defense, our right to water, our right to speak, our right to food, our right to bear arms, our right to shelter, our right to peacefully assemble, our right to warmth, our right to subpoena, our right to a jury trial, our right to property, our right to unionize. A right to found a family, a right to privacy. How about this 10-step criminal procedure? Could you imagine if we actually had a law that equally was applied equally to everybody and everybody was given a chance, what's good for the goose is good for the gander? Could you imagine if the scales of justice wasn't tilted or weighted towards one side or the other, but the scales of justice were completely even, Stephen? Could you imagine... If the system in the San Luis Valley actually had a consistent 10-step criminal procedure for anybody that's accused of any of those major crimes. Thou should not hit, thou should not rape, thou should not steal, thou should not kill. And if you're accused of any of those crimes, and then this is the 10 steps. You got the arrest or summons, you got the bail bond hearing, then advisement of charges, preliminary hearing, disposition hearing, arraignment, motions hearing. Pre-trial readiness conference, jury trial, then sentencing. Could you imagine if we had a consistent 10-step criminal procedure, if we were all on the same page with the common law, we all agreed that thou should not murder, thou should not rape, thou should not steal, and thou should not hit. Even if you don't agree with those rules, it's still the law in Colorado. Let's just agree that we should obey the law, and we should obey the big laws, the major laws. And if you're accused of any of those crimes, then you get ten step, a 10-step criminal procedure. And my God, isn't that the best way for the, the cops and the judges and the prosecutors to show us that the criminal justice system is actually a justice system? That the point of having this big legal system is, at the end of the day, to have peace, free, uh, peace love, freedom to make sure there's a presence of justice, to make sure that there's peace and tranquility so we can go to work, come back, so that there's peace, so that we, we can be productive, so that there can be a flourishing of activity, a renaissance, or an enlightenment. So if a judge is accused of, let's say, attempted murder, if a judge or a cop or a prosecutor is accused of rape, or stealing or violence. Well, there's an arrest or summons. That judge is going to have a bail bond hearing. That judge is going to have an advisement of charges, a preliminary hearing, a dispositional hearing, an arraignment, a motions hearing, a pretrial readiness conference, a jury trial, and sentencing. That judge is going to go through the same exact criminal justice system that the rest of us would have to go through. 
And my God, if they actually believe in their own system that much, I saw where the sheriff, you know, he like shot the bad guys, but he accidentally shot a bystander. And the prosecutor was asking him a bunch of tough questions. He was like, look, it was a dicey situation, but I got the bad guy. And then they asked the guy if who got shot what he would have done. He said he would have done the exact same thing. People are going to give the authorities the benefit of the doubt anyways. So really you have nothing to lose except for, uh, you know, the system that you pretend is fair and just and is supposed to be the justice system. We're seeing that the emperor wears no clothes and it's all... They want to foam at the mouth. They're foaming at the bit. They want to rubber stamp any decision. Could you imagine a system that actually respects its citizens? If the cops don't see, but you could go straight to the DA or a judge. If the police on the scene didn't do their jobs or they're corrupt, what if they're corrupt? The DA and the judge just rubber stamps the police. That's what the whole system is about. Could you imagine if it was more than just that? Could you imagine if the system actually hated crime wherever it... Could you imagine if the system believed that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere? In order to have peace... In order to have peace, it's, peace isn't the absence of conflict, but it's the presence of justice. Justice. 